bless the Lord my soul and never forget all his benefits it is he who forgives all sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit we commemorate and celebrate today the memorial of Saint Cyril of Jerusalem we pray in this morning's Eucharist for all the RCI catechumens who will step into their day of recollection and retreat. May the grace of the Holy Spirit enlighten them. And so to be reconciled with God and with one another, let us acknowledge our human weakness and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mystery, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, they will search for me in their misery. Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has struck us down, but he will bandage our wounds. After a day or two, he will bring us back to life. On the third day, he will raise us, and we shall live in his presence. Let us set ourselves to know the Lord, that he will come is as certain as the dawn. He will come to us as showers come, like spring rains watering the earth. What am I to do with you, Ephraim? What am I to do with you, Judah? This love of yours is like a morning cloud, like, a, like the dew that quickly disappears. This is why I have torn them to pieces by the prophets, why I slaughtered them with the words from my mouth. His judgment will rise like the light, since what I want is love, not sacrifice, knowledge of God, not holocaust. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. What I want is love, not sacrifice. What, what I, I want, want is, is love, not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more 
from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. What, what I, I want, want is love, not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. What I want is love, not sacrifice. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. What, what I, I want is love, not, not sacrifice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. o Lord. Jesus spoke the following parable to some who pride themselves of being virtuous and despise everyone else. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself. I thank you, God, that I'm not grasping, unjust, adulterous, like the rest of humanity. And in particular, that I'm not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on all I get. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven. But he beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again at rights with God. The other did not. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself before God will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We draw close to the week. And as we look at the days that has passed and the readings that we, that we had for the week, the gospel acclamation somehow sums up the whole experience. Harden not your hearts today if you hear that voice of the Lord. We've been listening to that voice continuously. It's been repeated. Come back to me. Turn away. Change your path. Walk in a new path. This continuous experience of God to just to come back. But Hosea says something to us today that's very important. Hosea says, you start off well. You have good intentions but your intentions don't last. It doesn't last. You start off and tell yourself, I'm going to do something different, but it doesn't last for a long time. And Hosea says, it's like the morning cloud. It's like the morning dew. Oh, it starts so well, and then it fizzles off. It fades away. Your intentions are not good. Jose asks us again today to remind ourselves how do we look at these intentions? Because it's there, but it just fizzles away. It evaporates. It goes away, those intentions. 
Jose asks us to look at those matters that lies at the depth of our heart. To put this in a very beautiful perspective of our faith journey at this moment, we'll just look at the gospel text today. Two men went to pray. One stood at the front, one stood at the back. The Pharisee said this prayer to himself, Oh gosh, God, I am, I am close to you. Every morning I'm at Mass. I fill up the baskets of the Garden of Mercy with all that I have. Day and night I pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I'm fully involved with the BECs. And he goes on and on with his litany. I'm not like the one at the back. It's all about the outward, nothing about the inward. Everything is about himself. I call this a prayer of thanksgiving about oneself. And the one at the back dare not raise his eyes. To. All he did was, Mia culpa, mia culpa. Forgive me, Lord, for I'm a sinner. Forgive me, Lord, for I'm a sinner. What I want is love, not sacrifice. What I want is a humble, contrite heart. That is all the Lord has. A humble, contrite heart, wholeheartedly in love with God. Nothing else matters to me but to love the Lord, the God, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, with all my understanding. That's all God asks. And the Samaritan woman which started off this week was able to grasp and capture that moment. And she grabbed it. And she found her way back to the village. A renewed woman. Sometimes you and I may start off well. And somewhere along the line, we fall. We falter with temptations. The Lord reminds us today, what I want is your love, not your sacrifices. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, to give us we have this bread to offer, which it has given in human hands of made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, to give us we have this wine to offer through the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we truly, O God, by whose grace it comes to pass, that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, Grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them over, we may offer you the fitting homage to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, you raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With faith, with confidence, we turn to God the Father as we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner.
Let us pray. May we truly revere, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with the abundance of faith in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. A prayer for Lenten grace. Loving God, during the sacred season of Lent, bring me closer to you. Prepare a place in my home and heart for silence and solitude, so that I may rediscover the grace of a prayerful life. Help me to pass from those things that threaten the well-being of body and soul, and remind me of the grace of simplicity. Enlarge my heart so that I give to those in need, and in so doing, rediscover the grace of gratitude and generosity. May this season be a grace-filled time to rekindle my love and faith in you. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same, Same to, to you, Father. Father.